health care, job discrimination, education, equality across the board. Everything that you have done in your career has been for equality, has been for opportunity for all. But moving forward, what's the climate going to be like? What's the fight going to be like? What's, what's it going to be like moving forward as opposed to some of the things that you've had to do in the past? Well, I think that what we did in the past, we did based on what we had to do. I, and, and there's none of the situations I got in I wouldn't get in. I would just know how to fight and deal with them more strategically, which goes back to uh, the point that we were d discussing mm -hmm. with Dr. Mm -hmm. West. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think that a lot of what I'm trying to say is in the spirit of what Velma said. I think, yes, the president has to be held accountable, and the president said that when he spoke at National Action Network. But I think that too many of us are putting it all on the president. If I see a Ryan in Congress, where's the counterpoint to Ryan? That's not President Obama's job. He shouldn't lead the civil rights marches against himself. Robert, what about the that? The churches, the academics, everybody's like sitting yeah. around acting like we can't do nothing, Obama should do it. That's hogwash. I, I agree with you. Look, we need foot soldiers on the ground that's going to be able to do the, all the heavy lifting. There's no question about it. I guess my point simply was, look, I'm just the messenger, is that a lot of folks on Capitol Hill, and I'm talking more about the more progressive wing of the party, that's saying, I'm tired of doing all of the hard work and not having the administration defend me. I'm tired of doing all the heavy lifting, and then thus in the process, the next day, at the podium, well, the White House... Well, 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 that's what I need to understand. I need to understand where the leadership is, because the fact of the matter is, each of them were elected by a constituent base. I agree. Each of them should stand on their own, and each of them, while the party should support each other, at the end of the day, they should be held accountable for their own action, and they should be accountable. They, they should be accounted to. No, but I think the, the, the problem is this, that they have a black constituency, and there's a context in the nation that a criticism of President Obama is a an attempt to support right-wing vicious attacks of Fox News and others. Cornell. Part of the Cornell. problem right now, let me tell you Cornell. something, brother. No, 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 no. I no, love no, this no. brother when he was outside. I love this brother giving his assets, but I tell you this, I worry about your brother because you could be easily manipulated by those in the White House who do have the interests of Wall Street oligarchs, who do have the interests of corporate plutocrats, and you oppose, but you end up being the public face, and if which Barack is Obama exactly ends why, up just being another black mascot of these which is exactly oligarchs, why we you just be in a saw world of on that film that I'm the one out there in the trenches at the labor rallies at, and during the marches. You just saw that while a lot of people are sitting around inside their ivory towers talking. Because I don't buy what you just said, Cornell. What's that? What's Wait a that? minute. When you talk about a lot of those blacks in Washington don't want to challenge the president because yeah. he's black. Because the black community Wait, no, no, no. does. Let, the me black community Let me finish. They were representing those same communities when they supported George Bush on the Iraq war. And only one black woman, Barbara Lee, voted against the war. They were scared then and they scared now. If you're scared, say you're scared. Don't blame that on Obama. What, what say about, you're scared to stand up for the people. What about no, that, the question, I mean, Because for you, you're Why did they vote for Bush? Out, brother, why did they brother, vote for Bush? You're, do you have a critique of Obama, or are you? No, I, my are critique you of Obama. Of critique no, no, of my Obama. critique of That's Obama was very clear. That President Obama. You, you want my critique? Yes. Let me give you the critique. Yes. My critique of President Obama is he must bring about policies that will employ us equally, that will deal with our education and reform. Where's the job bill? We, Where's the job bill? The job. The that's what I'm asking you. Your friends in Congress that sit around waiting on President Obama to write a bill to go in Congress. That's but, their but job. Kanye's got a job bill ready. But, 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 but wait, Obama. Wait, yeah. And we're going to talk about it. Please. 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 No, no. Look at it this That's way, a bro. joke. Y'all are making excuses for people that have sat there 40 years right. and they've done nothing. This suffering. man is no, talking we're talking about, about black suffering, suffering and speaking that has to always it. been there that many speaking of them have now become all of a sudden want to come and jump okay. on this president now, but I'm not and sat there and not talk. Look at this. But I give you an example. Look at this. We got young black brothers in New York City. Over 72% of them have been stopped and frisked by the police. And who fought them? We did. We did. You we did. But how come, Where were the academicians? Where were the congressional How come, how come Congress Brother Obama can't say a mumbling word about but it when it comes to New York? But how come the critics don't say a word about it when it comes to New York? And neither have the academic bankers. And neither have the academic bankers been stopped and frisked. He'd say something. All right. And obviously, how come he don't say anything? If the president of these Ivy League colleges had said we'd be stopped and frisked, they'd be doing that. These guys are great at being so We've got to go. And won't talk to no, nobody else. Thank you, Velma Hart. Thank you, Robert Tran. Thank you, Cornell West.